All right, pond renovation project has started. We got uh, Nick and Dakota. Dakota's down inside. <laughs> Trying to get some of these big old fish out of there. There's one of his uh, fish caves that all the fish hide in. We're catching fish and storing them over here in the big blue tank. All right, the plants are out and now it's time to remove all the rocks. <laughs> the size of the pond looks five times larger than it did just a little bit ago because of all that plant material. You can still see we got a big batch of these uh, arrowheads, uh, lizard's tail, and iris over in this section. But pond is going to be over in here, still keeping the, almost the same shape, just kind of widen things out, maybe push it out a little bit that way. Going a lot deeper though. So we have a lot of work here over the next couple days. So we're in the process of removing all the rocks here. Uh, this pond was originally installed in 1993. I just wanted to show this. This is kind of cool. You could see all the little stuff wiggling around on top of this rock here. Uh, these are called black fly larvae. Um, so uh, they, they're filter feeders. Um, so they do great as an outflow typically. You're gonna see them colonizing rocks and stuff like that. The fish love to eat them. Um, this is just above the normal water line so the fish don't have access to it, but it's a great source of food for them. But they're also an important part of the ecosystem. Uh, they help to filter the water and that's why they're doing real well here. So they're at the outflow of this uh, wetland area right here. So it's got high nutrients, got all different types of organic matter and that's exactly what these guys feed on. All right, this is a first for me. I have seen this in lakes and rivers before, but never in a decorative pond. See that stuff inside of here? This is our skimmer. Um, we have two pumps in here, but um, look at this stuff. I actually started scraping it off the wall. I didn't know what it was. It looked like a fungus or something like that, but it's actually It's a freshwater sponge, which is really 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 cool So we're gonna try to keep it alive if we can but obviously it's on this place and uh, it's comfortable here So we're gonna try to keep it alive for uh, for the uh, new pond all right, we just wrapped up for the day. We got everything excavated out and it took us all day just to finish up that stuff, moving all the rock, getting it re-excavated. But we opened up everything. We have tons more space for all those fish, which is really the whole reason for this. The other thing that we did, we put in a bunch of series of ledges. Uh, we got our biofilter set, which is kind of buried way up over there, brand new Biofall 6000. We put in our underlayment fabric. We haven't put the liner in yet, but we have a fourth guy coming tomorrow so there's only three of us today so the fourth guy will help us get that uh, we have a 25 by 30 liner going in here end of the day so we figured we might as well wait until tomorrow morning once the liner is in place we're gonna start all the way down there at that bottom level with all of the rocks that we pulled out of this excavation uh, out of the original pond uh, we'll start down at the bottom and then we have another seven tons of rock that have been delivered out in the front and those are some monster boulders so what those rocks are gonna do is they're gonna go around that top edge really gonna lock everything in place and make this pond look incredible. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.